Hello everybody, it's Doug again. I know it's been a while since you guys have all seen me. I've had some a whole bunch of stuff happening. Um, but those of you who are friends with me on Facebook know that about a week ago I asked if anyone thought that I knew how to make a proper cup of tea. Um, so we're going to get into it. Let's start right off. I know a lot of you probably thought that me as an American when I said tea meant these. Teas in a little bag. Um, well, you thought wrong. I'm better than that. So these are going to go back in my drawer where they belong. Right, so obviously the first thing we're going to need to do is heat up some water. So I'm going to turn that kettle on. And while this water gets hot, I figured I would talk to you a little bit about some of my tea stuff. Um, this is my little tea ball. I use it for mostly um, herbal teas. Um, the occasional white tea or green tea um, goes in this as well because um, I usually only brew those by like a small cup I also have um, my cup with a built-in infuser um, I do stuff like this when I only want like a single cup of tea which is not very often but I um, also, usually only do this with like white teas because they need lots of space as well as green teas. Um, this big thing here I usually use to brew my um, iced teas. Uh, it has a built-in infuser and it's a really cool design because uh, you sit it right on top of something and it drains right out into the cup. Love it. It's an awesome thing. But today we're going to be concentrating on the classic teapot. Uh, mine actually has a built-in infuser, so unlike a lot of British teapots, I don't have a tea strainer that catches the tea when I start to pour it. Um, so we're going to use actually mostly this. And of course, I have my beautiful tea cup. Um, I want to say it is uh, 12 ounces, but uh, I could be wrong. Actually, I'm going to go double check that for you right now. Yes. My cup is 12 ounces. My teapot is actually itself 24 ounces, so I get a good two cups um, for myself, um, which is actually usually what I drink anyway. Um, and for this pot, I actually usually, I, really, I keep it regulated to black teas and flavored black teas. So that's all that goes in this pot itself. Now, on to the teas. I actually have quite a few different types of tea tins. Um, this is my two ounce tin that has usually um, small samples of tea that I get from uh, places or just order. Um, the company I order this from doesn't ship their teas in this anymore so I just keep all the tins and uh, add teas to it. Um, this is my slightly larger tin. I want to say this is like eight ounces. Um, I use this one um, for the same purpose. Um, this probably gets reused a lot. I do go through quite a bit of tea sometimes. Um, and then I have my even larger one. Um, these all come from the same company. They actually changed their um, tins a few years back before they switched. And now um, they actually ship their stuff out in bags like this. Um, I, um, when I order the teas, um, I usually do the samples unless it's something I know I like. Um, but it's two ounces of tea. Um, it's whole full leaf black tea. Um, and actually, today for you, I'm going to be making an Irish breakfast. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, there you go. Um, so, as soon as the water heats up, we'll get started on that process. So, my water sounds like it's starting to come up now. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the hot water, pour it into the teapot, and then reboil some more water to start actually making tea. Um, the reason I do that is to get the teapot hot so that it doesn't, uh, the temperature stays right when it's actually steeping tea um, so that I get the optimal flavor from the tea. So there we go. Just hot water right into the kettle. If actually I had been smart and purchased a larger kettle, I wouldn't have to wait as long in between. Um, it would be easier, but I wasn't that smart, I guess. Thank you. 
Yeah, so the reason I do this is because if you add hot water to a cold pot, the water instantly drops a couple degrees and the tea doesn't steep as good as it probably could. So we'll be right back when this pot boils and we'll start making tea. Alright, so because my water is actually ready, we're going to go ahead and get this ready to start brewing tea. So I'm going to dump this first batch of hot water out. And we're going to add our tea. And the same is... Um, One teaspoon for the pot and one teaspoon for each cup. And that'll make a nice hearty tea. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pour the hot water in because it is at a full rolling boil. And this will steep for. I like my tea to steep for about four minutes, um, but you can steep it for anywhere between three and five. So let's start the timer, which I should, probably should have done. So it's been about three, I set it for three minutes because it was about a half a minute after that. It's going to take me a couple minutes to talk to you as I set stuff up. So I'll be back. So there's that. about 30 seconds left. Um, and I figured I would talk to you about how I make my tea. I don't like my tea super, super sweet. Um, so I usually go with just a couple of small teaspoons of sugar um, and I actually do like milk in my tea. So we're going to go ahead and pour this out. I'm going to let you see how beautiful this tea looks. Um, it's been about three and a half minutes, almost four, so we're approaching the four minute mark now um, and it's just going to be... A nice luminescent cup of tea. Um, yeah, uh, and then just a, a touch of milk. Um, if I were not feeling this good, um, I'd probably skip the milk and use uh, a little bit of honey and some. So here we are back at my desk enjoying my tea and having a little bit of pastry. Um, I did also want to say that because my tea had steeped perfectly and I didn't want it to get too much darker between cups, I took my infusing chamber out and just set it aside in something so that um, it doesn't continue to steep in the hot water. Um, so yeah, that's a proper cup of tea. Enjoy. Mm, it's hot. And also mm. here's a quick look at my collection of teas. There's about three or four missing from here. Um, I keep a few tins at work just in case I want some tea or something. So um, here's my tea collection minus like three or four.